Well, hello there. I'm going to show you how to do this pretty little butterfly thing in Tinkercad. Um, this is something, this is my daughter's name, one of my daughter's names, Elizabeth. And so I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, we're not going to take a ton of time because it's actually a lot easier than you might think um, because I kind of cheated a little bit. Um, so let me show you. Uh, first, we're going to go to uh, just the main place in Tinkercad, and then I'm going to click New Design. Uh, as always, I'm going to edit my grid to inches and to uh, replicator. I'll make a replicator mini plus. And it gives me a, a more reasonable work plane uh, to work with. Uh, then I'm going to, uh, I, I'm not really endorsing this site, but it's one of the sites that I use. It's called pixabay.com, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com, um, because it's free royalty images. And so I'm going to type in butterfly. And notice that these top ones are ads. Um, and then instead of image, I'm going to choose vector graphics. There we go. Now I'm going to look for, say, this one right here. I like this one. So I'll click on it. Uh, you want to create an account with them. It's free. And uh, I haven't really been spammed by a bunch of email from them or anything unwanted. Uh, and you can click, you know, sign in with Google. So if you're one of my students, for instance, you just click sign up with Google. It just creates you an account and then you can download. So I'm going to say free download. Make sure you choose the vector graphic, the SVG, and then click download. All right. If, uh, if you have means to donate money to the creators of the objects on this site, um, it's very nice if you would be able to do that. I would encourage you to do that, especially if it's something you're going to use um, quite a bit. So now come back over here and click this little import button up here where it says import shapes. And then click, that was in the upper right. And then click choose a file and select it from your downloads. And you might get this little uh, red image, this red thing here, right? Um, Best thing to do is just scale it. So say like 50% and then notice it's still huge. So I might even say like 5% and see what happens. So I'm gonna say import. It's probably still gonna be gigantic or ginormous. Um, the more detail in the SVG, ooh, error importing it. Okay, let's try it again. Import, choose a file. I'll choose this one. I'm going to say, how about 1% import? Mm, it might be too big, um, but yeah, you should be able to just uh, scale it down. And this is the first time I've ever had an issue, and it's, of course, when I'm recording, but that's okay. And I'm going to keep this in the recording because I want to show you kind of what I do to problem solve. So I'll choose the file again. I'm not ready to give up on it yet. It says... This Tinkercad workspace is limited to, and then it has some information there. What if I change the length to four and the width to four? And I say import, or four by two, that's fine. Now what if I say import? Mm. All right. So like I said, this is the first time an image like that hasn't worked. I'm going to go ahead and choose the file that I did a second ago, the one that had the butterfly for Elizabeth um, and that had Elizabeth in it. On this one, you know, same thing. You do have to scale it down and then say import. All right, importing animal. <laughs> that was just what they named the file. All right, so there it is. All right, so... I honestly don't know what's up with that other uh, SVG file, but if that happens, you know, there's a lot of other choices, uh, but experiment with it. If you know what's going on, maybe comment in the comments and let me know. So anyway, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and drag so it scales it. 
to the size that kind of the size that I want it. I'm gonna place it over here and notice it's kind of at a uh, at an angle. I'm using these grid lines to kind of see that the file is not quite straight. So I'm gonna align it a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna put the head of the butterfly like maybe right there in the center. If I use my arrow keys, oh, and I also want to go to a flat view. If I use my arrow keys, notice how it jumps. So I'm going to change this to a 64th of an inch. And it doesn't jump as much. All right. So that's kind of right in the center of where I want it. All right. Then in order for my text to pop, I'm going to put a cylinder here in the center. Uh, about there. I'm going to increase to the max number of sides, max number of segments, and then put a little bit of a bevel on it. I'll change to a side view and then change the height so that it's, say, just raised above the butterfly itself. And there we go. All right, then I selected this guy and pulled it out to there, selected this side and pulled it out to here. Just kind of eyeball it. Maybe move it down a little. That looks better. Yep. Maybe I'll bring it back a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me raise it just a little bit. So you do your little fine tuning adjustments. Uh, then I'm going to grab the text tool and place it right there. And I would have to make one for my other daughter as well if I ended up printing these. So I might as well get it ready. Natalie. I'm going to zoom out. Hold down the shift key while I do this so it scales it. Oops. Come on now. Ugh. Drag the name. Kind of get it close. Again, use these views in the upper left. It's helpful. I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to drag the text so that it's just raised, just raised above. Yeah. Maybe add a little bit of a bevel to it. Let's see what. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what that bevel does, honestly. It's adding it the bevel to like the inside. Segments makes it a little bit smoother usually. And then I'm going to do this as the serif font that I used for Elizabeth so that they look similar. And it looks like it's already almost already in the center. I might zoom out a little bit. Maybe a little bit like that. And it's just kind of by eye, what looks good to your eye. All right, select it all and group it together. And there you've got a beautiful butterfly with a name on it. You could put like a little, um, you know, you could select a Taurus or something over here and you know size it right um you know something and attach it into the butterfly itself you know and put another one over here and then that way you could attach it to um to a little chain for a necklace all kinds of fun things you could do okay well that's pretty much uh how you can basically find any S svg file or vector graphics file, and you can load it into uh, Tinkercad, and you can work with it just like any other shape uh, you have here. You can add stuff to it. You can subtract from it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this little tiny tutorial, mini tutorial, uh, and um, have fun with it. All right, guys. Thanks so much.